Mm, that breading is perfect. I like it with aioli. These are definitely really good. Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, you and me, we're gonna be in the kitchen and we are going to experiment a little bit. I had this idea to make crispy baked artichoke cards like a homemade aioli and I figured this would be a fun meal because summer and spring is coming up and we need like light fun meals and I wanna bake these and I think they're gonna be really good. I don't have a set recipe, we're just gonna kinda work through it together and hopefully make something good. I think it'll come out good. I have a basic idea of what I'm doing. So yeah, let's just get started. Right here, I have my two cans of artichoke hearts. They're full artichoke hearts. There's about five to seven artichoke hearts in each one. And then I figured we'll cut them into quarters. I know this has the flippy thing on top. Okay, I know, but I don't like to use it because I don't want to break my nails. And I'm going to say that it is not a good move to use frozen artichokes for this. So if you've never seen canned artichokes, this is what they look like. They come in a lot of water, so we gotta drain all this liquid out. I drained them out, and now we're just gonna put a paper towel down, and we're gonna pat out the water that's left on them because I don't want these to be too soggy and wet. And just be kind of gentle when you do this because artichoke carts are a little bit delicate, like these leaves will just kind of pop off. So just kind of give a little pat, be gentle, don't be too, rough with your artichoke hearts. And it's okay if they're not like completely dry, we just wanna get off this extra water. Like see all that water in there? Like we don't want that. Also, if you hear me sniffling, I'm not sick. I'm having the worst allergies and I'm actually getting very worried that I'm allergic to Roxy because I don't really know what I'm allergic to at this point. I'll tell you guys what's been going on, why I think I might be allergic to her. So we go back and forth from New York to Florida a lot actually. And when we were in Florida, I started having to use my inhaler because I have bad asthma and I needed to use it. And it's like something that I don't really need to use anymore. My allergies, my sinuses were all congested. And at first I thought it was maybe just something down in Florida, but now we're home here. And this has been going on for a few months. And Roxy is so hairy. She's a Pomeranian. She has so much fur. And I am getting worried that I'm allergic to her because I don't really know what else it is that's consistent between here and Florida and I mean it's the two dogs but we've had Bella for almost three years like and I know allergies can kind of pop up out of nowhere but Shih Tzus usually people aren't allergic to them so I've been so congested because of that actually we did not get a lot of artichoke carts in here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten artichoke carts in two cans so I'm gonna cut these my original plan was to cut them into quarters but I'm very nervous because like I said artichoke carts are kind of fragile so you might have to go with halves. Yeah, I think a half might be the way to go, which is fine because there's 10, that'll be 20. These are kind of big artichoke carts. Now you can buy your artichoke carts already um, quartered up if you like. I always just like to buy the whole ones because I kind of don't know what I'm gonna do with them. So I'm just going to very carefully cut these guys. So our next step is gonna to be to make a batter and our breadcrumbs. So I'm going to take some flour and non-dairy milk. If you are gluten-free, you can just kind of swap out all these things for gluten-free things, very simple. I'm also, I'm gonna use the kitchen scale for this. So I just, I have to talk about the kitchen scale for a second. If you don't own a kitchen scale, I'm gonna highly recommend that you buy one if you enjoy cooking because of the kitchen scale, you don't need measuring cups anymore, right? Like you're just gonna measure everything out in grams and it really makes your life a whole lot easier if you like to cook. I'm not saying you have to measure everything out, of course, but especially for like baking and everything. And then also like, I usually never measure when I cook for myself, but because I have to give you guys recipes, of course I have to measure everything out. But kitchen scales, oh, I just popped the dishwasher in. <laughs> kitchen scales are really cheap, they're really inexpensive and they're a great, great, great tool to have in your kitchen. I didn't have one for so long and honestly, like it just makes my life so much easier. I don't have to take out a bunch of measuring cups and everything. I'm gonna start out by measuring about a third of a cup of flour. So we're looking at about 40 grams there. 40 grams of all-purpose flour. Let's see, what are we gonna add in for this almond milk? Let's see, this is 30 grams, which is really nothing but let's just let's go with another 30 so that'll put us at a quarter cup I want this to be more liquidy than like pancake battery so this way 
the artichoke hearts get covered in it and then they get covered in the breadcrumbs. That's perfect. So see, it's like super liquidy. That's what we're going for. For our breadcrumbs, let's see. We're probably gonna go with about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, which is gonna be about 80 grams. Let's hope I don't spill this everywhere. So we're gonna season this, keep it really simple. A little black pepper, some, ooh, some parsley flakes. Let's just say like a dash of each of those. And then like a quarter teaspoon of paprika. This is gonna give it a nice golden color or about a half a teaspoon, that was a heavy spill. A little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. And then garlic powder, about half a teaspoon. I like to use a lot of garlic powder and I like to keep my seasonings very simple. I'm not into like super heavy seasoned things. So I mix up the breadcrumbs and then this is something you can do if you want. You can taste your breadcrumbs and like taste them and see if anything else. Like I definitely want to add in more garlic powder and more salt. And I'm really, really big on tasting your food while you cook, as long as it's like edible, which with vegan food it usually is because you want to make sure it's having good flavor like especially if you're feeding other people you should always like give it taste like especially sauces and like soups and everything like definitely give it a taste so now we're ready to move on to the dipping and all that fun stuff i feel like i'm always make such a giant mess in the kitchen like i feel like i make a tornado of a mess so i have a baking sheet on my parchment paper right in front of me so i can just pop those little art show carts right on there let's just go for it Final thing to do before baking these guys is we're gonna just spray them with a little bit of cooking spray. I'm using a coconut oil one. Try to keep it mainly on the artichoke, not on the parchment paper, because otherwise it'll burn in the oven. And I like to use cooking spray because it distributes the oil way better than if you have drizzled it on. I have my oven preheated to 425 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna put these in the oven. I don't know the timing. We'll probably, we'll test it out for about 20 minutes and see how that goes. We'll make the aioli while these are baking. We're gonna measure out two tablespoons of vegan mayo. So that's gonna be 28 grams. And we're gonna cheat and we're gonna use garlic powder. I don't feel like grating garlic. So let's go for about a, qu a quarter teaspoon. Add a little, a little touch of salt. Now I, I feel like it. I, this is what I'm doing, this is my recipe. So I'm gonna add a pinch of red pepper flakes. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I love everything with a little kick in it. And then we're gonna take some lemon. Let's cut off this bad part here and we'll squeeze some lemon in there. And this would be like a spicy, lemony, garlicky dipping sauce. We can just mix it up. Let's give it a little taste. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so the artichokes are almost done. I think we have like three minutes left. I can't see the timer on the oven, but they're almost done. The kitchen smells so good. I want these to be done because I want them to come out. All right, you guys, so we did it. We did our little artichokes. How beautiful are they? I think they look so good. I'm like really happy with them. They're beautiful and golden. They're exactly like exactly what I was envisioning. So I really, I'm really happy with them. Let's give one a taste test. I have this little, this little one here. He looks pretty good. And I took a little bit of the aioli so I could dip it so we could try it. That's really good. You know, artichokes are really interesting because they have such a specific flavor and they're already so flavorful. Looks so good, doesn't it? And mm, that breading is perfect. I like it with aioli. These are definitely really good. I almost choked on the breadcrumb. So I think we made a winner. These are really good. 
I'm so happy with them. Like I can't stop staring at them because they're so beautiful and golden and I just love how they look. Yeah, I'll have the full written recipe out on the blog. There'll be all the ingredients listed out down below. Let me know if you guys like this style of video more. If you didn't like it, let me know too. Just let me know nicely. So yeah, I think that's all I have to talk to you guys about today. If you try these out, please be sure to take me on Instagram, leave a comment down below and let me know how it goes. If you like my videos, you already know, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff helps the channel to grow and helps us to spread more vegan recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys.